Hi, friends. Happy Monday. I'm not, I'm not here on Mondays a lot, but uh, yeah, I had to move Spooky Stream from tomorrow. So here I am. Hi, everyone. Um, I got to see the eclipse today, and let me tell you, the the t like the eclipse, the total eclipse is wild. Um, like I remember sitting out there like an hour before um the total eclipse, and I had the little glasses, and I was like looking up. So with the glass, the glasses, literally you can't see anything with it. I wish I brought them with me, but you literally can't see anything. Like with, if you put the glasses on, you look around, you can't see anything. But if you look at the sun, you'll see the, the bright spot that is the sun. So at like two o'clock, like an hour before the, the total eclipse, I look up and I'm like, oh, I can kind of see it. And there's just this tiny sliver starting to block the sun. And so I sit out there Then my family comes out there and we're waiting and three o'clock it starts getting darker. Like there were a few clouds in the sky, but like not really. Today was a very good day. Thank, thank goodness to see this. And, you know, we're just out there and it gets, it starts getting like eerily dark. Like. Like the sun's out, but it's dark. And it gets kind of darker and darker and a little bit cooler. A little bit cooler because it was a hot day today. And we're out there. We're in my parents' backyard. And eventually it gets so dark that one of the one, one of those automatic lights turns on. Because it's, it's getting so dark. Uh... And we're just like looking with our glasses and see the moon starting to block and it's like tiny sliver left and when the tiny sliver is left you still can't look directly at the sun like it's it's still really bright so you put on your little glasses and you look and then the moon blocks the sun like entirely and when i say entirely like it i have pictures of it and if you all follow me on Instagram you you maybe saw them but uh I do surprise my phone can take a hundred times zoomed in photos I did not know that I guess I don't need to zoom in that much on a normal basis uh it was very interesting uh I already saved this why I already saved that picture okay hold on I've saved it twice, apparently. Um, it's, you can't really tell. Like, here's a picture of my brother sitting outside. Y'all can't tell at all on the screen. But it's, like, darker. Like, it's, like, before before the total eclipse... It's like eerily dark, like, like an unreal darkness, like, like you're in a video game where they intentionally made things dark, but it's, it's eerily unreal. It's, it's very bizarre. Uh, I wish I had better pictures of that. It's just hard to tell here. It's a little bit darker and you can see the. Well, probably you, or you might not be able to see it, but there's a light over here that it turned on from someone's automatic lights. Uh, and then it's, it's about to be totality, but it's still very bright. It's still very bright. It's about to be totality, but it's still pretty bright. And then we get totality. Y'all like looking at me. There I am. Uh... And this, I don't even think I zoomed in that much for this. And it's actually hard to see on stream because you're getting a lot of glare. If you really want to see it, I put it in the Discord and I put it on Instagram. But it's just like... And you don't have to wear the glasses anymore. 
and when it's totality like it's it's not right it's like looking at a lamp but someone literally like covered the lamp like it's it's not that bright like it, it's bright but it's not and you can just look directly at it uh, anyway, my my phone takes great photos, apparently. Uh, but I was zoomed in so much that it was hard for me to, like, keep that aim very good. <laughs> you could see sometimes I was a little off. Um, I think, actually, this one's probably my best photo. But this one was only, like, 70 times zoom or something. It wasn't even the 100. It like looked like sunset, but the sun was com like up. It was three o'clock here. So not like overhead noon, but I tried to take a picture myself and I it's all bl motion blurred because I messed up. This was the hundred time zoom one. I don't know. It was just insane. But let me show you all this. It's so funny. I sent my boyfriend like my really good picture. He goes, oh, did you take that? I was like, yeah, I just used my phone. And he was like, oh, way better than mine. And I was like, it's because you have an iPhone. He sent me, <laughs> he sent me the picture he took. <laughs> and like, stream is not doing it justice, but I did a side by side. If you look, I guess I didn't put it in the Discord. I can put it there, but. I showed my family because my I showed my family the photos I took and my mom was like, send those to me. And I they, they <laughs> showed them and my mom was like, those pancakes? I mean, I was like, is that an egg? <laughs> so wait, I have to read y'all. Oh, I <laughs> Hold on. I told my I told my boyfriend that way. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he said. He sent me that photo and I just did like this emoji and it was like my whole family had a good laugh. <laughs> he said out of jealousy. I said they asked me he sent me a picture of a pancake or an egg and to ask you how close you are to the sun. <laughs> and he said, he said I climbed a ladder in my front yard while my father threw an egg above my head. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, he is one of those, those dumb iPhones, <laughs> uh, but anyway, it was a very cool experience. I, it was like kind of spooky, like an unreal, but it would be very cool to see again, uh, if you all are ever in the path of, uh, a total solar eclipse. Uh, I big recommend seeing it. Um, I luckily I avoided anything crowded. Like I okay, so this morning I went to work and I went in at like seven. Um, and there were not many cars there. Like at seven, seven still early enough. You can usually get a decent spot, but like. There were like no cars there and I go in and it's work is like a ghost town. Like it's like you're there during holiday season where there are definitely people still at work, but it's like it's it, it's it's like weirdly empty. Uh, And then I, I did like a half day. I like went home at noon or I went to my parents. My mom had got those glasses that you can wear during the eclipse or like to, to look at the sun. So I went to my parents' house, but I, I didn't really see much traffic in the morning. There are so many people in the area, like all the hotels within miles of like Dayton are like booked. Like, and I'm sure it's, and I, sh I think I showed you all the graphic, but all the Airbnbs on the, the eclipses path were like booked. For this this past weekend you know um like there are so many people in the area um but luckily i didn't really 
any scary traffic or anything. And then I, I made sure to go to my parents, like I said, at noon. And the eclipse was at 3, so I didn't see too much then. Um, but I heard, I live near the Air Force Museum, and they were having a big eclipse party. That supposedly 30,000 people were supposed to, to, to go to. Uh, which is like, I feel like more people than the Air Force Museum sees in a whole week. Like, um, I, I didn't drive by it, so I didn't actually see all of it. But someone told me it was like, looked like a lot was going on there. And so I stayed at my parents for like a while. It's actually part of why I'm a little late. Because I stayed at their house for a while just to try to make sure that people that were traveling post the eclipse, like, had finished doing what they were doing and I went I went I went to the gym <laughs> right after <laughs> I went right to the gym when I came home and I finished my cardio and took a shower and ate and that's here I am <laughs> nine o'clock at night now <laughs> um but yeah I feel like I scarfed my food down too fast and my stomach hurts a little but anyway hi everyone Let's do the opening affirmation card and then we'll dive right into, I don't know how long I'm going to survive with spooky, scary time. Resident Evil 4 has definitely been putting me on edge with just the one session we've done. So I am envisioning lasting maybe even less than an hour. We shall see. I already know we're about to go to a scary part because we got to this save point that like looks very insecure i'm like i feel like these people can just walk up and kill me while i'm at the same point but whatever um all right ideal partnership ideal partnership i am a rare and precious find and my brilliance will be reflected back to me when i am paired with the true match my ideal partnerships and working relationships are easy and free-flowing. I deserve greatness because I am greatness. And to paraphrase Rumi, what I'm looking for is also looking for me. In fact, he or she might be paraphrasing Rumi right now. Hmm. Ideal partnership. All right, y'all. Let's switch over and open the game. I'm already on edge. I'll be honest. Uh, let's see. This says how much how much time did I play? 92 minutes. 92 minutes. Oh, I need to put on a costume this time, I think, or whatever. I think one of the achievements or whatever is like put on a oh, I gotta pause the music. I did it in time. All right. Actually, this game lets me it's actually borderless windowed. Or uh, actually lets me. Ooh. Uh, click out of it, tab out of it. I'm very surprised about that. T to be fair, I guess this is the latest Resident Evil game. Like, it's a remake, but it's, like, the latest one they put out. All right. Is it loud today? Oh, right. Back. Back. Um. How do I, um, how do I change my costume? Here we go. I don't really want to change his costume right now, but. Well. <laughs> They just look very... <laughs> Here, we'll run this one today. 
Uh, I'll probably change him right back to the original just because I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like just, just playing the game as it is. Um, but I, like I said, I think there's a, an achievement for wearing a costume. So here we go. Also, we saw how many chapters there were last time and there were, there were like a butt ton. Um, anyway, I'm already on edge. I'm at, I'm at 81 beats per minute for my heart rate. <laughs> Excuse me. I gotta be honest, all I ate before this was chicken. <laughs> just, just chicken. Well, it, it was cooked. It was, uh, buttery garlic chicken, like leftovers. I'm gonna eat it for lunch tomorrow too. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I ate. I was like scarfing it down. Like I gotta hurry. Cause I was already running behind. And uh, I've told you all this, but I tried to stop eating by eight o'clock. <clears throat> all right, I'm not ready. I don't even remember what I'm doing exactly. Uh, we made it to a farm and we're trying to get over here. My gosh, this map is huge and it looks like I'm going to be blocked, which, um, is, uh, not exciting. What is, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see. This will change how you're looking based on where you're looking. And this just keeps the map big. This map looks very large, and I feel like we haven't even gotten to... Like, I feel like there are multiple maps. Oh, well, there's a legend. Shooting range? Strong threat? location oh is there gonna be a mechanic where we split up or is she just gonna follow us around shutter how is this both super actiony seeming like this just this just makes me think of like assassin's creed or other like first person explorer games like that except it's full of horrors hold on <laughs> 